So today I'm going to do another video on how to install Luke Ross's mod for Red Dead Redemption 2. And this mod will make this into a virtual reality game. Now we don't roll this back anymore, we used to be able to do, but thanks to updates from Rockstar we can't do that. So this is how we do it now. Uh, right, let's start. First off, the reason I've got this game running is because the very first thing you need to do is run the game. And then go into, while you're running the game, it's just so it can make a player profile for the mod. Uh, go into settings. This is very important. Go to camera. And see this here, first person head bobbing. Well, you don't want that in VR, it's fucking horrible. So you want to turn that off, ideally, but you can't do. All it will let you do is reduce it. But that's it, that's what we'll do. Uh, okay. That's reduced. That's it. Now, we can exit the game. And I will show you how to install it. The mod that is, not the game. Stop. Confirm. Right, first of, all, first of all, you've just played the game, that's great, it's still stopping. Let's go to Red Dead Redemption in your Steam library. Right click on it. Scroll down to Manage, scroll across and down to Browse Local Files. So just close this, because it's in the way. These are the local files. Be very, very mindful of these, file, these folders here. You don't want to drop anything into them, because then it won't work. So the first thing I'm going to put in here is this. This will just help. I'm running this on a 3060 on the Quest 2, and I've got a, 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 I'm connected to my PC using a cable. But I still need a little bit of help. And this will boost your performance. I'm going to leave the link for this, and you can read up all about it on the site that you download it from. Uh, but I'm just going to show you how to install it first. So I've dragged it into its own little folder. Uh, this is what you'll drag in that. I've unpacked it. And all you have to do is drag this and this into the game files here. So I'm just going to drag that over and drop it there. And drag this over and drop it there. I suggest you read up about this because inside here you can uh, mess about with all the settings. But I'm just going to leave it f with the default settings in place. There's that one. And the other one is there. Once you've run the game, it'll create a little, uh, another folder very similar to that one. And it'll tell you whether it's working or not and what it's actually done to improve your game. Right. So that's that. We can close this now. Uh, and here is the mod. Now, I'll leave, again, I'll leave a link for this. Very important I do that. Drop that here. And there it should be. Right click on it and select extract here and that's what it'll do, it'll extract it there. Now you want to find this file here, real config and double click on it. Well, before we do that, uh, if you get asked when the game starts if you want to update for instance a script hook or anything to do, well any kind of updates, if you're given the chance or the opportunity always refuse them. Always cl click on no. If you're not given that opportunity, then there's nothing you can do about it. You're just going to have to let it update. Uh, but this is one that it usually always asks for the script up. You've got, this is the script up you need. You don't need to update it. Right, so we'll just double click on here. And we're going to select yes for this one. Just have to lift my headset up so I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. So... Now, this will uh, set up all your graphical settings inside so it works properly. Uh, you can choose Ultra, High, Medium, Low, or Optimized. I'm going to choose O on my keyboard for Optimized. If you have any problems, just come back here, double click on that real config file again, and choose a different one. Go for I or Medium. I wouldn't choose Ultra unless you've got a 70 series. Right, so I'm just going to choose or for optimized. I'll just lift my headset up because I so I can see my keyboard. And there it should do all this shit. Look. 
copied all these files, all the five files there, five, six, seven, eight. Anyway, what we're going to do now is press any key to continue. And that's it. All done. So we can close this down now. Where's my mouse? There it is. Close that down. Go to here. Now, if you once you start the game, you won't be in VR. You won't be able to access the settings. I, I don't think you need to do. You've just turned off head bobbing, so that's all you need to do. But if you do want to run it in flat, all you have to do is deactivate the mod by removing. Let me show you. Because this is a question that comes up from time to time. Uh, remove this file here. Just copy it, make a copy of it, put it in a folder somewhere and delete this. Start the game and it'll start up flat and you can play it flat then. It'll be in 1080 by 1080 but you just have to go into the settings again and put it into, change it to full screen and you'll get this full screen. Anyway, let's play the game and see if it works. Hope it does. Do, do, do. Now what you'll get is down here, see that? You'll get a box that will pop up behind that. Not everybody has this problem. I do. I think it all depends on what make of graphics card you've got. But it'll, get, it'll start to load... But once that little box pops up behind there, you're going to have to lift your headset up and close that box for it to continue loading. Let's see if we can see it. It takes a little while first time. Oh, see there? We got that. See it there behind it? That's what it is. So this all pops up as well. So we have to close this. By pressing pause on there. It's not going to load, I don't think. I'm just going to lift my headset up and close that box. Right. It'll say something to do with lock free capacity, something shit like that. You might have to click on it a couple of times. It's closed now, that's so the game should start. Ooh. Like I said, you can't go into settings because if you do, it'll crash. So we're not going to. And this is for story mode. Ooh. The most I get in flat mode is 60 frames per second. Oh, here we are. Oh. Now, as you can see, I'm in third person. So all you have to do is press V on your keyboard. Let me press V on my keyboard. Oh. Or oh, just move. That's it. Yeah, we'll move. Let me just shake my head. That's another way that you recenter with Luke Ross's mods. And there we are. If you are in third person. Wow. Uh, just press V on your keyboard and it will cycle you through. I'll show you. The, it cycles you through the different uh, views you can do. You can have. Not do. Right. It's a bit quiet. There's some people over there. Wow. So that's it. That's all you have to do. You can uh, you can go away now if you want to. Oh look, people. Now I've got alternate eye rendering turned on. If you press pause on your keyboard, this will come up. This, and you can change all kinds of settings up here. Uh, the center, not the R. And you can go here to advance and you can 
change this. I've got AR turned on, that's uh, alternate eye rendering, which gives it the 3D effect. If you're really having problems running this and it keeps crashing after every 10, 20 minutes or so, you can try it by turning this off. So it makes no difference to me, but a lot of people see a massive difference if they believe that all the 3D disappears. But it's a lot, it runs a lot smoother. Uh, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to close this down by pressing pause. There. I think I've covered everything. Hello. What are you doing? Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Who said good morning? Well, it must have been one of you two gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Don't look too friendly. Did that horse just fart in my face then? I think it did. What's he doing? What? So it's a nice little place. Look, there's a tram. I want to steal the train. Hey, what the hell? There's a lot of shit on the floor. But what can you do? Wow. So I believe I've just managed to get my hands on the cracked version of this. I'm downloading it at the moment. So that I won't have to worry about any more updates. And this mod will run a lot better on that version of it. Hello. What's that? <laughs> What are these potatoes? Excuse me! What? Oh. Senor? See, he doesn't like me. He definitely doesn't like me. I'm looking for a train to steal. I think over there might be the best place for a train to steal. Because there's some trains. So I'm using a PS3 can... Oh, no. PlayStation 5 controller, sorry. Uh, you can use a PS4, any kind of controller like that will work. Or you can use mouse and keyboards. But you can't use the, the Quest 3 controllers. And it doesn't bother me. It's, it's not like just looking around like some people say. Some people get really angry about that. They say it's not true VR unless you can use the controllers. Well, I can remember having a go on one of the very first VR machines, and that didn't have any controllers at all, but it was still called a VR. A virtual reality machine. So I think some people might be talking shit. Oh, loot boats. They talk, they talk about me. Hello. What? Can I push him in? Move, oh, no. Long streak of piss. Okay. Move along. I might start shooting people in a minute. Is it dinner time? Pissing it down again. Do, 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 do. Yeah, can't get through there. Hey, you can take him up. What? Hey, attention. Train Michael. You see, my attention span is uh, very short. Forgetting, I'm looking for a train. Where's my horse? Oh crap! What? Oh, my horse is at a whistle with a whistle range. Hello. Come here. Oh. No, 
There's no train up there. I've just heard a train. Just heard its whistle. I've forgotten how to run. that lamp post. Was it a lamp post? No it wasn't. Telegraph post. Thunder. I fucking hate thunder and lightning. Plenty of boats but no fucking trains. Lightning again Luke. It's really close that as well. Look at that, I'd like to go up there on a tra in a train, or on a train. I'm not having much luck. Move your ass. Out of the way. Really on the train. Oh shit! What the fuck are you doing? Stop it! Oh shit! What? Who? Where? Why? Are you going to shoot me? Just run away. I forgot how to run. No. Now you're gonna die. Don't think I am. Well, I might do, but not before you. Yeah, oh, shit, he's getting up. I haven't got a train. I wanted a train. That's all I wanted it was a fucking train. Why do I keep coaching down? Did you see that blood coming out of me then? Oh! I'm not even hitting him. Oh shit, he's falling down here. Uh, can I swim? Run away. Run the fuck away. No, that's how you run. I think I'm in a bit of trouble. There might be a bounty on me. Where are they all? Oh, fucking hell. Fucking rifle. Have I got anything better than this? Probably, but it's on my horse. Oh, shit. Did he just knock me back down? Is there somebody up here? Oh. Well. Oh, well, my day out on a train was spoiled. This looks nice. Anyway, I'm going now. Uh, bye.